We, we shoot uh, the show in Toronto, uh, Canada, uh, but the show is sort of set in uh, generica, basically just uh, any generic North American city. So on our uh, uniforms it says Metropolitan uh, Police Department, but, um, uh, but you know, you do see the street signs uh, from Toronto and you see landmarks in Toronto. So it's sort of Toronto, but sort of unnamed uh, kind of right. metro metropolis. And even, even our uniforms are a mix between um, I guess America and Canada. Um, I play, uh, uh, his uh, name's Officer Dove Epstein. He's wanted to be a cop his entire life. Since he was, you know, a little kid, I actually based it off a guy I went to kindergarten with who wanted to be a cop so bad he used to pull me over if I was running too fast playing soccer. True story. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and so when you, the day you meet Dove is really sort of in his mind the day that his entire life has been leading up to this moment where he's sort of, he's finally arriving, stepping into the spotlight and becoming anointed as like, you know, the lawman. But then it doesn't go so well for him uh, and, you know, he comes crashing back down to earth and so his arc is, is about sort of um, adjusting to reality and, um, and sort of finding his place in it. Well, I think Andy really wants to find this unity and, and kind of have a family that she's never had within the police force. And um, her father is also a detective, but he had a terrible exit. Um, he's kind of, he's an alcoholic and kind of messed things up. So Andy really wants to kind of redeem his name, but she also, uh, she wants to save everybody. She's used to trying to save her father all the time. And I think the tough thing for her is realizing not everybody wants to be saved. And so she can work as hard as she wants, but people have to make their own decisions. and. I think it's hard that um, for all the rookies that, you know, we're coming into this and, and to us it's very black and white. You know, we've gone through the training, we know exactly what to do, we know how to carry ourselves, and then the situations kind of rise and everything goes completely gray. We just have no idea what we're supposed to do. I think it catches me off guard how emotional I get over some of the situations that I'm in and I don't know if I have what it takes. I personally was really nervous. I was excited to play a role where it was going to be physical and athletic, um, and also there was going to be vulnerability and, and a deepness to her character. But I was also terrified that um, I was going to look like a fool and every cop was going to laugh at me who sees the show. Um, but we got to speak with officers. We had a three-day training session, I guess, um, with all of the rookies to make sure that we knew how to handcuff, um, how to enter a dangerous situation with a, with our gun if somebody else is in a home or how to stop a car properly. Um, but there's so much to learn that you just, we couldn't do it in three days. And so we had an officer that was on set all the time to kind of help us through the scenes that were written. Actually, a lot of, a lot of the moments in the episodes, especially the pilot, um, uh, were not scripted. A lot of the sort of the rookie moments were not scripted. They were just things that actually happened. For instance, uh, one of my favorite little moments in the pilot, uh, Missy is talking on a radio uh, uh, to the he headquarters and she's trying to put her gun in her holster at the same time she's talking on the radio. And you just see her miss her holster like five times. <laughs> and she keeps talking, she's getting more and more frustrated and trying to get her gun in the holster. And it's so hilarious and it's real. Like yeah, that really just happened. really couldn't do she it. She couldn't put her gun in her holster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think uh, structurally, every episode you have you you kind of pair up uh, a couple of the rookies. You know, usually four of the uh, a couple of the rookies go out on the street, and then a couple of the rookies stay back in the station, and uh, and it sort of always swaps who stays back and, and who goes out. Uh, but tonally, uh, the show it really it's a really interesting tone, and but it takes until I I think I would say it takes us till about episode three till the two tones really kind of uh, form one cohesive unit. And once it does, the show just takes off like uh, it starts I, I'm, it starts off great but it, it becomes really really uh, wonderful once once the tones sort of find each other and and it sort of mixes this kind of fresh fun uh, take with the emotional sort of uh, uh, action that uh, Missy brings yeah sometimes I mean some episodes we actually have to all work together if there's something that's you know really scary like an abduction or something a child abduction um, we are all working for the same case um, but not in the same location and then there's other episodes where um, there's a huge contrast because, like you said, Greg is, he's the funny guy on the show, and so his storyline is, is more humorous and light, and then um, I'll be working with somebody else on something that's, that's heavy and serious. So uh, they, I think they try to have a good balance of, of humor and heaviness.
Yeah, we had a ball. We used to, yeah. we, we constantly were getting in trouble because we were just laughing too much. Literally pulled into the locker room <laughs> on set and it was so obvious they were talking about me, <laughs> but they just brought everybody in so that it would be a group thing so that I wouldn't feel so bad. But we laughed so much and they were just like, look, other people have jobs too. <laughs> and just because you're not acting doesn't mean that you get to be really loud because, you know, everybody's got to set up the shot and communicate and you guys are slowing us down. And so it's kind of like, sorry, <laughs> we're having so much fun. But it was kind of the best situation to be in. I mean, I wouldn't want it any other way. There was not a boring moment at all on the set. For me, personally, this is one of the biggest roles I've, I've got to play. Um, I've never been in a TV series where I got to dive this, this deep into a character, and it's been a blast um, to play someone who's so well-rounded and vulnerable but tough and, and really trying to figure it out. It's been a huge challenge and, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to do this. It was a lot of fun. And for, uh, for Dove, it's his enthusiasm.